play that. Yeah. And then it was Opana, and I said, do you really want a Ganon Ditto in bracket? <laughs> it's yes. jank. It's so <laughs> jank, though. And I was like, I'll do I, I actually asked him, I said, what character do you prefer? I, I like, 100%. He said, you go who you want. And I was like, I want to do Rob. <laughs> and I went Rob. Did you beat him? I won, yeah. Yeah, because like, I remember you did better than, like, most of the Ganons there. I think I still didn't even do that. It was, like, 100 and something, or 200. It was a bad placing. Yeah, you were... I think you were 100 something. If I, remember. I think you were like 197. Which is weird because the next match was apparently who made it out. So I don't know why it was like high in the 90s or something in that case, but yeah. whatever. No, I think you were two matches away. But my favorite one was um, that match I had with the guest after we went game three last hit. I, I heard the. <laughs> he did the big sigh. And he was like, man, like you put me on edge for the whole turn. My first round is going to take me to game three last hit. <laughs> And stressed me out the whole time. Was Guest like a PR player? He, I believe he's almost PR okay. in his region. Like he's pretty good. Yeah, no, I mean, he, I he mean, made it out. So. At the same time, the only thing I'll tell him is be like, well, you still play Diddy, so it's like I'm always like it's Diddy. Yeah. But he knew what he was doing. Yeah. But I just like camped and robbed super hard the whole time because I was like, I'm not approaching this ever. Yeah. It's never worth it. No, I mean, honestly, if he played Diddy brain dead, I think he would have destroyed him just because your fundamentals are ridiculous. <laughs> and right now, it's looking really rough. Honestly. You know, Yoshi needs some love, but at the same time, I don't want Yoshi to be good in <laughs> this game. I mean, he's got the new bouncing egg. That's kind of yeah, no, that's going to be huge, because the fact that it's air and ground pressure at the same time, that's really good. Also, I'm sorry. I haven't seen Polt in a while, actually. I haven't seen him on stream in a while, but he's, he's come to a couple of Smackdowns over now. Oh, oh, pivot jabs. Oh, so good. Those are always cool. Uh, I want to see KDB again, though, too. I mean, the rumor is that all the old school players are coming back once Ultimate drops. I mean, you never quit Smash. You do that. Yeah. You never do. I understand everybody quitting this one, though. I mean, I kind of semi quit just because I was like, I don't really want to. I don't. I, the problem I had with Bayo, I always tell people, is even if I win, I didn't have fun. Yeah. I'm like, I won, and I'm like, I felt terrible. <laughs> and I'm yeah, yeah, no, it's like that. Like that. That I completely like. I can understand people not exactly having fun with most of the battle. Was that? I didn't even know what traded there. Because it was F Smash. There's no way it was Jab. Well, his head's not disjointed. No, no, but it clanked. Yeah. Which means it had to be strong enough. No, in this game, is it's it, it's is nine it, is it it's by percentage? It's the 9% rule. Okay. If it's like if it's like 1% to 10, they'll clank. Yeah, so like that, that, that I remember. But I don't know what clank thing. Cause I think jab, Falcon's jab is like 3%. Yeah. Uh, okay, Poltergust is in a dangerous situation. That's too bad that he burned his jump there. Because he wasn't able to combo off that egg. There we go. Good front traps. I mean, Yoshi's heavy. You can bring it back. But Falcon's pretty strong, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I mean, the good thing is, like, oh. Yoshi's fair, but his success all there is extremely strong, too. Well, the thing about but Yoshi's fair is. Oh, God, no. What? <laughs> no, like, he went for the grab. I'm like, there's a number of ways Falcon could have just straight up killed him. Well, eh, that's yeah. one of them. <laughs> no, no sailing on that. New, new back airs. Wait, AGM made PR? Oh, I didn't know that. Angel is. Oh. Wait, he beat Goblin? I guess we, we didn't see that on stream. Oh well. Also confuses me, because it says Blue Mirror, and then I think of the Duck Hunt Discord. I really hate that his tag's Blue Mirror, because Blue Mirror was a terrible human being. Is he actually? They're actually just mad, because he didn't like- Okay, he, he was a Nazi furry. That, that, the, no joke. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, I thought you were going to get salty about the- He didn't let me call it the outhouse again. Oh no, I'm not salty about that. Why he bombed me was why why he fired me was like legitimately stupid. I'm like whatever. Wait, no, because you posted memes and then he posted memes right afterwards. You no, know, it wasn't that. It was that I wasn't exactly wow, like was it him, us. but yeah. yeah, no, I mean that, that guy was legitimately a Nazi. Now, now speaking of that, because we're in a game store and Magic's nearby, did you know one of the artists from Magic was a Nazi and still is a Nazi? I believe it. He's an older artist. He does really good art, by the way. No, yeah, I mean, some of those, like, the, the art, the creature design on things are, like, no, no, amazing. Did, some of them are creepy. I'm like, that. that no, but he does, like, old school, and it's, like, this really almost shaded kind of style, like, sketches. But one of them I like is my favorite. He, he did a card. You know what it's called? What? Invoke Prejudice. <laughs> Invoke Prejudice. No, no, no. And you're like, oh, oh, well, how bad is it? And then it's like, what is the, well, one, you know what the image on the card is? What? It's just the Ku Klux Klan with an axe in black. And I'm like, 
Oh no. And I'm like, that's oh, pretty no. and I'm like, that's pretty special. Like, what does the card do? And you know what the card does? What? It says, Oh, if anything is the same color as the card you pick, you just go, no. <laughs> you just prejudice on them. And I'm like, this is the best card. By the way, if you want to own this card, it's like five hundred dollars. Is it is it just because it's a very strong no, card? No, it's uh because it's on the reserve list. Mm -hmm. You know what the reserve list is? No. Um, they did a list. They, they originally Magic did a reprint set, right, called Chronicles, and they reprinted like all the rares, and all the people were like, "Well, this doesn't have value anymore. You reprinted all the rares that like I've been collecting." Mm -hmm. So people got super mad about it, and they said they lost faith in the product. And Wizards said, "Okay, this set backwards. We will never reprint these rares ever." Oh, so that's what they're. It's been is? 25 years. They have not reprinted anything on that list. Wow. So Invoke Prejudice, which is a strong card already. If you want to play it, the only printing is that printing from like 20 years ago. Jesus, that's actually crazy. And the problem is that people complain because you want to play Legacy, which is the everything format. A lot of the strongest cards are super old. Like Black Lotus is super famous. Black Lotus is a 